Well, we start with our news tonight with local coronavirus news. Pitt County officials announcing earlier today the Omicron variant was detected in the county. Not on your side's Aaron Jenkins has been following this developing story. And Aaron, how many cases are in our area tonight? Angie, there are three confirmed Omicron cases in Pitt County. ECU's Brody School of Medicine and Vidant Health have been sequencing for the variants, and they found that yesterday. Dr. John Silver, now Pitt County Health Director, broke the news today and he says it was just a matter of time before we saw it here in the east. Prior to this, we had 19 weeks of nothing but Delta, so uh, we knew that sooner or later Omicron was going to show up. The Omicron variant is detected in more than 30 states. It was first found in North Carolina last week in Mecklenburg County, now closer to home in Pitt County. There's a lot of travel in and out of here because of Vidant Health, because of the university, other things like that, and just a pathway to the beach. Uh, so, so I can't say that I'm surprised. Silver now says not only are we seeing it because of our location, but also because our healthcare systems are closely looking for it. We have a very robust sequencing program between the Brody School of Medicine and, and the Vidant Lab so that samples that are sequenced get sequenced. Officials say the first individual with the Omicron strain was a nearly 30 year old Pitt County resident. This individual did not have a, a travel history that we could identify. Um, at least internationally, there was some travel within the state. And the other two cases detected don't seem to be connected to the first one. Interestingly, there's no connection between the three individuals that we can identify. They're all from three different places within Pitt County. Meaning there could already be community transmission, according to Silvernail. We are considered an area of high transmission. Um, communicable diseases follow human activity. So, you know, when we gather, when we travel, when we, you know, meet family and friends, there's an opportunity for viruses and other infections to be exchanged in those interactions. Moving into the holiday season with family gatherings, it's more likely the variant could easily spread within the community. Silver now reminds people it's a good idea to get tested before visiting with family this holiday season, even if you're feeling well. In studio, Aaron Jenkins, nine on your side. Aaron, thank you.